Hello everyone, I will be showing you how to fix an error whenever you're importing a CSV file into Access Database and there is a field that's supposed to be boolean means holding two values like true and false, yes and no, male and female instead of that it is showing as a checkbox like this. To avoid this issue it is very simple we're going to use an example from IGCC uh, ICT and we're going to import this file into Access Database. There will be one field which is called penalty field. Its data type supposed to be set uh, into boolean and the format supposed to be showing as yes and no. This is the CSV file if you open it. You will notice the penalty is saved into 0 or minus 1. Either yes and then later it will be turned into yes or no. So let's close this file and let's go and import it into access database i'm going to okay i'm going to leave it and then let's go to external data from file text file and browse that file okay so make sure just the first row contains the field names and let me see i'm just going to finish it till the end without changing any properties in the advanced so if you looked over here in penalty, it is going to be as a number or long integer. I'm going to leave it as it is. I'm not going to change it into any other data type. Then click on OK and finish it. Uh, they're saying we're already having an existing file. So let's go and change it into 2. And let's check it. OK, let's open our file or table and we will see that the penalty coming as those numbers or stored values in the csv file so right now let's go to home click on view and in the penalty section over here in the data type turn it or change it into yes and no and then let's click back again to view and some of the data may lost okay let's say yes and you will notice that here is the problem it is turned into a checkbox we don't need it to be into a checkbox so what to avoid this problem what we can do we can go and click on view and over here in view you will notice that even it is showing though yes and no but it is not presented as yes and no instead it is presented as a checkbox so go to look up and make sure that the num the value here is text box we don't want it to be a checkbox we want it to convert back again to text box click back again to view save that table and over here it is turned into and yes and no in case you forgot to change it since the beginning and you already went to the relationship and you already carried on to connecting the tables and later you realized that it is still checkbox then you will have difficulty into changing this back again to textbox. It will be already frozen or inactive and you won't be able. In this case, you have to delete the table and you have to import it again in that same way. Another way to avoid this type of an issue since the beginning, what you can do, so go again, when you're importing it, just make sure you're changing it since the beginning. Just follow this method always. So new source, text file, and then browse your file make sure you're clicking on the field names click on advanced and when you click on advanced go to the penalty and change its data type since the beginning from here and change it into yes and no so all of the problems will be avoided later and click on ok click on next next and just let me change the table here and let's have a look right now okay i got it directly into the its stored value over here so simply what i can do over here i go to view and all i need to do over here in penalty i just need to make sure that the format needs to be yes and no format you will find that the lookup is already by default into a text box and then click on view and save it yes there is no data going to be lost in this case okay and here we go it is showing to me into yes and no so this is the best method to use it the second method 
and in case you had any trouble just delete the table and try to import it in the correct way. I hope this video was useful for you. If you have any question, you can put it in the comment section.